Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Uh, today, uh, we got something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do a quick, uh, well, might not, I don't know how quick it'll be, but a little tutorial video on uh, titanium anodizing, a uh, spinner. And uh, first off, uh, this first segment of the video, I just kind of want to show you some of the supplies that you'll need to get this done. Uh, actually, it's a really super simple process that you can do with just common items you have around the house. It's actually quite amazing how easy this is to do. Uh, so let's go over this, uh, these supplies here real quick, and, uh, and then uh, we'll get on to the uh, actual anodizing. All right, first off, it's uh, definitely good to have yourself of, uh, a set of rubber gloves. You'll need those uh, as you're doing the anodizing itself just to protect yourself from any uh, potential shock. Uh, the, the solution uh, that you're going to use is going to be made up of distilled water. So I have some distilled water there. I also have a, uh, a, a container here that uh, I'm going to be using to dip uh, the, uh, the titanium parts into. And inside that container is another container, which is just another cup that I've cut the bottom out of to allow, um, you know, the current to travel through there very nice and easy. And it'll also keep your part away from um, the piece of stainless steel that needs to go down inside that's going to connect your negative lead. Uh, and this is it here. I just got some stainless steel, which is uh, what's preferred to use. Uh, it's just some mesh, some hardware cloth that I folded up and, you know, kind of bent the ends over, made a nice little uh, uh, piece to fit down inside. And this will fit down in between the container and the cup inside the container that you will attach your uh, negative lead to. Uh, you'll also need uh, some titanium wire, uh, which you use to make hooks, which you actually dip your titanium pieces in with so it's just some titanium wiring and all this stuff if you do not have it around the house you can uh, order it off of ebay which is where i ordered most of this stuff from now i'll be doing uh, my power supply will be a series of uh, nine volt batteries which i will daisy chain and of course i'll show you how to do that you'll need uh, two um, leads with uh, alligator clips these will be used to connect your batteries and your negative inside the solution and the other one is used to attach your wire and dip your titanium piece uh, you'll need some tsp which is uh, trisodium phosphate you can get this stuff on ebay as well it's really cheap a couple bucks uh, it's just a cleaner is all it is i've also heard you can use distilled vinegar you can use i heard uh, coke uh, also works so um, but the best results I guess from what I've my the research I've done is uh, the TSP uh, works the best so that's why I went with that you'll also need some uh, some Windex which I just put some into a small cup and that's used as kind of a pre and post rinse before you dip your part into your solution you dip it into the uh, Windex first, kind of shake it off, let, you know, you can dab it dry with uh, some paper towels if you'd like, and then you dip it into your solution. So uh, that is kind of a pre and post rinse. And once you pull it out of the solution, then again, you go right back to the, uh, the Windex, you dip it in there, and you are done. So basically, that's it. This is, I mean, a lot of this stuff you probably have laying around the house. So 9 volt batteries are pretty easy to find. Alligator clips, you can either use these, you can make your own as well. This uh, this piece, I, I bought this just so I can make this specifically for this purpose. Uh, the wife didn't want me using her uh, kitchen utensils, so I, I went ahead and, and made my own. So... Um, so that's basically it. That's all you really need to get started. And uh, what we'll do next is uh, I'll break away. I have uh, a, uh, a spinner that I've already done. I'll show you that. And I am going to do a spinner in this video. Matter of fact, I'm doing my one drop trillium. So uh, that's kind of what we're going to do here today. So what we'll do now is break away real quick. I will get everything, uh, get the extra stuff that I don't need out of the way and get it set up and we will go ahead and we will anodize. Stay tuned. 
All right, here we are kind of set up. Um, kind of show you. I have my stainless steel placed down into the container now. And you can see the extra cup is kind of floating in there. That will separate uh, the part that you're dipping from the stainless steel because you don't want those two to touch. And I have uh, four batteries, four 9 volts. You see them daisy chained here. And on the one side, I have the negative lead. I have the negative going from the negative of the battery up to the, uh, the piece of the stainless steel here. And the positive side, or the, the positive lead is going to be hooked on the other side, like so. And that is where this lead is going to go to your um, wire. So you'll have a piece of titanium wire which I will just kind of make a hook out of and I keep a pair of needle nose here and I'll fold that this will kind of fit inside and then this will kind of be a hook doesn't matter how big it is you just want you don't want the um, the clip or anything to come in contact with the solution you just want the uh, the titanium piece you're dipping to be in contact so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up and we will do our first piece. This is, uh, this, I'm going to do the body of uh, the spinner first. As you see, there we go. It's all set up, has the hook. And like I said, I'm going to do um, the body of it. And you notice the, the rubber gloves will also keep the oils from your hands off of the pieces. So first things first, I'm going to do my, I'm going to move this over a little bit closer. I'm going to do my dip. I'm going to rinse that. And this is just, like I said, this is just, uh, just regular Windex. Pull it out and kind of dab it dry a little bit. And then I'm already set. So now we're just going to, I'm going to pull this a little closer. You can see it. Dip it in. And it shouldn't take too long, just a matter of uh, a few seconds. Leave it in there. Pull it out. I'm gonna dip it a couple more times just to make sure. And let's dip it back in the Windex again for that last dip there. We'll dab it dry. Set our lead aside. And now you have, I'll show you the side by side comparison. You can see this is kind of a light blue color. This is just the regular silver titanium. So we got that one done. And we'll do the same thing again. Let's go ahead and take this. We'll dip it in. Dip it in the Windex. Kind of rinse it off. Let's dab it dry. We're set. Make sure we're nice and thoroughly hooked there on the thing. And away we go. Let's dip it in. Let it sit. Nothing to it. Now, quick rinse. And away we go. Dab that dry. As you can see, nicely done, light blue color. So now I have both both of my arm pieces done in a light blue color. So what we'll do now is uh, I will uh, change my batteries up. I'm gonna take uh, one off because I'm gonna go to three batteries to do my weights with. So um, give me just a second and we'll come back and we'll do that. All right, we're back again. Okay, I got the, uh, the body parts done now. Now we're going to move on to the weight set. You see I have removed one of the batteries. I'm down to three now. And I'm gonna slip this onto my piece here with my hook. See, I got the, the weights there. 
and I'm going to dip them real quick just kind of just a quick rinse in the uh, in the Windex and we'll pop a bit pop it in and I could see it going to work almost instantly as soon as I set it down into the solution just amazing how fast this stuff works oh what a beautiful blue that is awesome a little bit of contrasting color to my uh, the body uh, pieces rinse them off There you go. There's one. Get the second one ready. Just slide it on into place. Quick dip there. Away we go. Here we go. Just awesome. Rinse. It's the second one, and we have one more. Go ahead and throw it on there. Quick rinse. Dunk it in. And voila, let's rinse that off. All right, and then the uh, last thing I do is I will disconnect that lead. Disconnect this lead. I'm not sure yet on the color that I'm going to do the buttons. Then I'll go ahead and disconnect that one as well as the power side. There we go perfectly safe free and clear set my hook aside and I will show this to you obviously after I get it all put back together this is just kind of the looks of them right there very nicely done beautifully anodized that nice blue will go great with the uh, the rest of the body that I've finished up and basically that is it i'll do the buttons i'll figure out what i want to do with the buttons i'm not sure that i'm even going to do them here is a, a dab style spinner that i did um, this is uh, three batteries as well what i did with those weights polished up the buttons a little bit very very nice just a nice looking piece this one here this is my tie edc and this one i had to do a little differently this is with four batteries also and the bearing does not come out in this so this was a little bit tougher to do I had to connect my positive lead right directly to one of the arms of the spinner and when I dipped it I had to dip it one arm at a time like so uh, to get it done in that blue that very very light blue but yeah it came out all right this was uh, this was my first crack at it so uh, that's kind of how they came out and uh, once I get that trillium put back together we'll take a peek at it and uh, well, uh, I'll show it up here. I'll move everything aside and let you take a peek at the finished product. So stay tuned and I'll do that right now. All right. So here is my Trillium now that it has been uh, put back together. You see it's uh, very, very nicely done. It has that nice color to it now. The, the buttons and everything kind of pop on it. Whereas before, the buttons just kind of blended in with the body and the weights and it really it didn't really jump out at you now you look at it and you got those buttons that just uh you know the the bright silver like that they really stand apart from the rest of the spinner and those weights are just a uh just that beautiful blue color and they did keep their nice uh shine as far as you know that solution didn't do anything as far as the finish other than change its color so uh, just absolutely awesome. Very, very easy to do. 
You have uh, most of the stuff laying around the house that you can do this with. Um, piece of cake, it doesn't affect anything on your spinner as long as the what you're trying to uh, anodize is titanium. It's a very quick, very easy process. I was able to, uh, you know, anodize all these spinners in probably, oh, less than maybe 20 minutes. It took me to actually, uh, you know, from cleaning them to, you know, getting them prepped and ready to go and actually uh, dipping them and getting them finished. It was only maybe 20 minutes or so. And uh, that, it's a nice little touch to the, to the spinners. And so they, you know, you give them a little bit of a different character. So um, I hope that kind of you know, enlightens you on how to anodize titanium. A lot of people have titanium spinners, and this is just a way to kind of dress them up a little bit. And obviously, uh, your color is going to be based on the amount of voltage that you send to, um, to the piece. And there are uh, lots of different charts out there as far as color charts based on voltage. Um, like I said, I just did mine with nine volt batteries, which I have laying around the house. That's uh, you can order up a, a power supply and do it that way if you like. I mean, it takes you know, it'll you can go up a lot higher and you can go through a lot more colors in a spectrum, but you know, then again, you got to uh, invest in that power supply. Whereas with these nine volt batteries, you could daisy chain as many of them as you want together and. Every one you add, adds 9 volts. So you, you're not going to get as accurate a color, maybe, uh, as you could, say, if you wanted to do something at 32 volts, it's, you, you really can't. So, um, But anyway, it's just something quick. It doesn't have to be uh, absolutely perfect. To me, I just wanted to add a little color. I looked around. I didn't see anybody doing any uh, videos. I saw some titanium anodizing videos, but I didn't see them doing any uh any spinners on the video so i figured uh i would uh, go ahead and get the stuff and and give it a shot and see how it came out and i must say i am very very happy with it so uh if you have any questions uh, go ahead and uh leave them down in the comments section um i will of course again i will put a list of the uh supplies that you need to do this i'll leave it down in the description as well uh all of this stuff you can pick up on ebay a lot of it you can get up on amazon so um, I will do that. I want to thank you for hanging out with me a little bit today. Always fun. This was uh, definitely a good time doing this. I've been wanting to do it for a while. So uh, that's a real quick 101 tutorial on, uh, on anodizing your titanium spinners. Hope you had a good time with that. Thank you much for hanging out. Click that uh, subscription button up, the, up at the top left if you wouldn't mind. And there'll be a couple other videos for you to take care of or to take a peek at that'll be on the right hand side if you want to take a look at those. So once again, my name's Alan. Thanks for hanging out. It's been a good time. We'll talk to you later. Peace.